Most Christians will tell you that the laws of God have been fulfilled, not knowing what that word actually means. And that we no longer have to obey the commandments, except maybe the Ten Commandments. But Christians can't even get the Ten Commandments right. Nobody honors Sabbath when or how God asked us to. That's the Fourth Commandment. And the First Commandment is have no other gods before me, which Christians think they're doing, but they're not. If you actually read God's laws, Deuteronomy 12, 30 through 32, it says it's the worship of other gods to rebrand a pagan holiday in God's honor. Well, Christmas and Easter are rebranded pagan holidays in God's honor. It's considered the worship of other gods every time you celebrate Christmas and Easter. That's God's law, not my opinion. Isaiah 46, I am God, there's none like me, declaring the end from the beginning. Since God declared the end from the beginning, I thought it would be a fun little project to show you guys something. If we read the curses for disobeying God in Deuteronomy 28, and then we go read in Revelations all the plagues that are going to happen in the end times, you might find some strange similarities. For instance, in Revelation, God says he will send out people to conquer us. And in Deuteronomy 28, the Lord will cause your enemies to defeat you. In Revelations, God says he will take peace from the earth so that people should slay one another. And in Deuteronomy, your dead bodies shall be food for the birds and the beasts. And in Revelations, he says he'll send famines and it'll be a whole denarius for a quart of wheat. And in Deuteronomy, curse shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Curse shall be their fruit and the increase of your herds and your flocks. And back to Revelations, he says he will send pestilence. And in Deuteronomy 28, the Lord will make pestilence. And in Revelation, he said he's going to mess with the sun and the moon and the heavens and the earth. And in Deuteronomy, he said he's going to mess with the heavens and the earth. And he also said he's going to mess with the sun and the moon in Deuteronomy. You shall grope at noonday as the blind grope in the darkness. In Revelations, he says he's going to send locusts to destroy everything. And in Deuteronomy, he sends locusts to destroy everything. Revelations, he said he's going to send plagues. And in Deuteronomy, he said he's going to send plagues. And in Revelation, he said he's going to send sickness, harmful and painful sores. And in Deuteronomy, the Lord will strike you with boils, tumors, scabs, which cannot be healed. And he goes on talking about all those boils and sores he's going to send in Deuteronomy. And he mentions it quite a few times, so I bet it's going to be bad. There are many more examples of this. I encourage you to read Revelations and Deuteronomy 28 for yourself. Three minutes isn't nearly long enough to go over it. But wouldn't you know it? He said in the beginning he was going to curse people for disobedience, and in the very end he's going to curse people for disobedience.